The NTF has attacked our warships defending the Gnosis. We repelled their first offensive, but the NTC Alexandria reached the portal and made the jump into the nebula. We believe the rebels are regrouping to launch a second assault. Command has positioned the GTA monitor to hold off the attack and reinforcements are on their way. Okay, just two things to call out here. GTA monitor. That's not even a ship designation, that should be GTC. And it says it's a Deimos class corvette, but it actually, I think, turns out to be a Leviathan or Fenris. Sloppy. The 64th will play a fighter role in this mission. The NTF have a few Zeus and Medusa wings remaining, so your objective will be to engage all rebel bombers and neutralize their fighter escort. The Colossus has engaged the NTC Vanguard and the NTC V Congreve. We will move the Colossus into position as soon as this battle has been resolved. Okay. Keep an eye out for the NTF Icene. If this vessel emerges within range, you are authorized to engage and destroy it. Bosch has eluded our forces since he entered the Gamma Draconis system. Now we anticipate Bosch will either attempt to gain control of the Gnosis or enter the portal itself. Be prepared for any development. Okay. This is the end game, pilot. Bosch's Neo-Terran front has been crushed. Only the die-hard fanatics remain. They'll fight to the death and take as many of us with them as they can. We have every confidence in your ability to get the job done. Good luck. The Aquitaine now has available the GTM-4A Tornado, a modified version of the Hornet missile. With improved fire control systems and guidance computers, the Tornado can fire more often and with greater accuracy than the Hornet. Be advised the Tornado will fail to arm its ordnance properly if aspect lock has not been achieved. Aha! Uh -huh. Tornado. You are also authorized to carry the new GTM-11 Inferno, a wide area fighter suppression warhead. The Inferno is a remote detonation missile. Hit your secondary trigger a second time to detonate. A HUD indicator will display the warhead's distance. The Inferno will release multiple submunitions with ultra-high explosive charges. Very easy to wipe out your own wing Please review your objectives for this mission. Especially if you give it to the AI, and another great weapon for lagging out people with 56k connections. Anyway, defend the Nossos device, quite simple, especially since it can't be destroyed. And you probably noticed down here that we can fly the Pegasus, so we are. Not ideal craft for this mission, but it does live up to its promise that people can't acquire a lock on us. So, we won't be under much fire. Unless we, you know, really get in someone's face. Shouldn't uh, endure many missiles, either. Gonna use, uh... Hmm. I think I'm gonna use Prometheus, actually, because we're gonna be hitting hard and fast. Since we don't have to worry too much about people drawing lead on us. Same time, uh, Tempest and... Well, actually, I'm gonna demonstrate the new Tornado. It is um, a remarkable warhead. It's like the Hornet, except faster. So, no real reason not to use it. Now, if our pilots are smart, ho ho ho, uh, they should be able to stay alive during this mission, because... Uh, because they're flying Pegasi. Peg Actually, let me think, uh, it's Pegasus, which is Greek. So, the plural would be... Uh, I think the plural would actually be Pegasa. Hmm. Something to investigate later on. Anyway, let's get going. Welcome to the Gnosis Alpha. Oh, it is a all is quiet on this front. Call that. We repelled the NTF's first wave, but they'll make another run. Oh, silly me. Just received for... word the Colossus took down the NTC Vanguard. We'll keep you covered, monitor. Look, bombers won't get within two clicks. Of you. Look at this. Look at this light fighter. It's crazy. Okay. Ah, it was a fortune. That was what I was thinking of. Doesn't mention it in the briefing. Wing. Neutralize your warheads before they impact the monitor. Calm down. <laughs> Very excitable. And keep an eye on the fighter escort. Let those bandits find you. Should be difficult considering that uh, we are invisible, in effect. Take on the Ulysses, those are our kind of size of craft. Since uh, we're equally nippy. Right. Hmm. 
Okay. There it goes. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Didn't really need it. Okay, Alpha 4, how did you get targeted? Seriously, I, I really doubt you people sometimes. Wow. <laughs> Flew right into it. It can be quite hard to see where those missiles are if you're not familiar with the HUD, which I am not. I never really bothered to learn it. You would have to at higher difficulty levels, but... Okay, we've got more Lokis inbound. The NGC Loyola is history. Excellent work, pilots. Deploying support ship now. Please stand by. Oh, I had the first request. I was short. So, somehow managed to acquire a lock on us. Probably rock eyes, because they couldn't get an aspect lock on us. Technically. Hooray, the Colossus. That fleeing afterburner tactic would work for the Lokis if we weren't in a Pegasus. Actually, I imagine Pegasus is the Latinized form of the Greek. Because I'm sure Pegasus was a male horse. Because Pegasus in a Greek would be feminine. Just one of those bizarre little things about Greek. Stilettos coming in. Someone fired them, I'm not sure who. Interesting thing to note about the, the uh, music of Free Space is that each track has a biblical title. It's named after a book. Not sure which one this is, but there are things like Leviticus, Revelation, that kind of thing. Numbers, Exodus. Ah, oh, they're firing the stilettos. That makes them more dangerous than they appear. Ah, Medusas. Should put a stop to their naughtiness. It's not like they can really damage the Colossus, it's just, you know, the principle of the thing. We're meant to be flying, flying, protecting this giant ship. It's quite odd also how we are fighter cover despite being a bomber squadron. Then again, we've done practically every job in the book by this point. In terms of fighter classes. And <laughs> this poor support ship chasing me all this time. Just haven't had a good opportunity to dock. Right round here to the Hercules. Okay. This way. The nice thing about the Pegasus as a light fighter is that people can't touch it. That's the thing that really makes it for me. Wow, that, that actually hurt, hurt us quite badly. Actually lost all our fighters. Has jumped in. He's heading for the subspace portal. Colossus open fire with all forward turrets. Incoming jump signature. Hostile configuration. We're experiencing a global malfunction. Fire control. We need 30 seconds to get auxiliaries online. Oh dear. We don't have any kind of window colossus. Support ship is down. <laughs> poor, poor support ship have been forced to follow me. That's not good. Probably shouldn't have put my wingman in Pegasi. Because uh, Pegasi. Colossus, lay off it. I, I'm also here, you realize. Negative. We'll send in a search party to find the Admiral. 
Okay, that was a bit odd. Them flacking me at the same time as... The Neo-Terran threat <laughs> has been crushed, pilots. The rebellion is over. Return to base. Should say the Neo Terran front has been crushed pilot. I'm the only survivor once again. Let's see what the briefing holds. In recognition of your contributions to the GTVA's victory over the NTF insurgency, you are hereby awarded the NTF Campaign Victory Star. For your service in Deneb, Epsilon, Pegasi, and Gamma Draconis, the GTVA Security Council and General Assembly extend their gratitude for your service. Aiken Bosch has eluded capture once again. Jumping in near the Gnosis was a risky maneuver, but it enabled him to reach the Nebula. Rebel saboteurs on board the Colossus temporarily shut down fire control to give the Iceni a window of opportunity. These operatives are now in custody. Admiral Petrarch has requested recommendations for pilots to participate in an officer exchange program with the Vasudans, and your name is at the top of the list. You'll be an outstanding representative of our squadron, our ship, and our species. Yeah, what he's really saying is, a lot of people seem to die under your command, and you clean out the squadron entirely. Please go somewhere else, preferably with no humans around. Okay, 14 kills, including our wingmen. No, uh, 168 total. I think the double ace must come at 180 then. Hmm. Still Lieutenant Junior grade, but our metal chest is slowly growing despite the number of bodies we used uh, <laughs> to get here where we are. Not entirely at our fault though. Anyway, I quite enjoyed that, despite having to really try that first mission a number of times. So it's something satisfying about flying around in a bomber and blowing things out of space. You know, just big explosions from a tiny fighter, or tiny bomber, but still fighter craft sucks. Anyway, next time we'll be signing up for the Sudans, and this will be quite a um, longer assignment than our previous ones. Of course, I'll still be uploading at the same pace, but I'll be sat down to play. And I'm looking forward to that, because we get to experiment with some very interesting fighters that uh, offer an interesting counterpoint to Terran ones at the same time as being very similar. So, I'll see you then.